<clears throat> Hello, my friend, my brother. Today we're going to talk about、um, attention and the way Instagram and all these new platforms really do affect you. Now, you see that the underlying principle of all we're going to talk about in this video is that first comes attention. So first. You have attention to someone or to something. You are attentive to a certain event, a certain information, or a certain man or woman. Then comes your mind. So then you think about that person, that event, or that thing in general, that information, and then comes your soul. You constantly. Are with that person you want to be right where it is, and your soul is the main point, the last point you can turn around. You can repent from that person if they're doing you more harm than good. And the last stage is being. So really, being with your body and with everything you are, where that thing, that person, or that information is. And you see Instagram. Does a very negative thing to young men, and we have long thought it is because of dopamine, or because of addiction, or of time, because it wastes a tremendous amount of time. But it not at all is like that. The reason men are suffering from social media is because there are two parts of your brain. The one part. Is the old part, and that old part thinks everything is real. If you look at a naked woman on a screen, your old brain will think this is a real naked woman, and he is having sex in just a second, and he needs all these hormones now because your old part of your brain, your subconscious. Is in charge of all the hormones. Your new part is, however, the thinking part of your brain, the part that knows what a phone is, the part that knows what a screen looks like, the part that sees everything in context. Okay, this is a screen. This is not a real woman. And then. The old part of your brain and the new part, the conscious and the subconscious, argue with each other, and you can only hear your conscious, your subconscious. You cannot hear. Your conscious is the part of the argument that you hear. Now imagine, just for a second, two people are arguing in your room. Your father and your mother are arguing because of you. And your father is arguing for you, and your mother is arguing against you. Now imagine the whole conversation going on the whole day and the whole night long, and you only hear your mother talking. You only hear the part that is arguing against you, because your old brain, it is thinking. It is processing this naked woman on your screen in the following way: it thinks naked woman, he's gonna have sex, he's gonna have children, and therefore he gives you the hormones or wants to give you the hormones according to that situation. Now then, your new brain, your conscious, gets into the argument and says, "No, friend, this is." Not a real woman. This is a woman on a screen. He's a loser. He doesn't fuck women. He doesn't even have a girlfriend. He doesn't even talk to women. And this is what post not clarity, it, I think it's called like this, really is. Post not clarity, the thoughts you have immediately after. Doing something bad after ejaculating,、um, without really wanting to ejaculate. Those are the thoughts you get right after that. 
post not clarity is your old brain arguing with your new brain and you only hear your new brain because your new brain is the conscious part of your brain your old brain is subconscious and this is what instagram does this is all the trick instagram has it's not only about dopamine it's not only about it taking something away from your day like a little bit of time it's way worse than that and the best way to fix this is to frame it in a different way doing all this destructive behavior because that's what it is you are destroying your mental health with Instagram and the way that I just told you and the way to frame this is that this is not the cause of your bad mental health but it's the symptom so the reason you feel bad isn't Instagram the reason you do Instagram is because you feel bad and if you know this you can simply turn it around what would make you feel good about yourself? Pride, maybe. Pride in your discipline. Going to the gym. Reading books. Being in nature. Leading a good life that you actually want to lead. I guarantee you, right now, I give you my word, that if you focus on the things that really make you grateful and not just happy in the second. Because gratefulness and happiness are two very different things. Happiness is right now, gratitude is in the past. And doing things for the sake of gratitude is way better than doing them for happiness. If you're grateful for something, it could have been hard. It could be that you weren't happy and this is why you're grateful. It could be that you were disciplined. And discipline is the opposite of happiness. You're not happy when you're disciplined. You don't like being disciplined. But you're grateful for that. You're grateful for that because you went through it. And if you strive for gratitude, if you strive to be grateful for what you did, or for what God gave you and proud of your discipline to have pulled through I guarantee you with my word if you do that Instagram will go away TikTok will go away bad thoughts will disappear and everything all these people told you to do you finally did because you now know that you don't feel bad because of Instagram that you don't feel bad because of TikTok, that you don't feel bad because you are doing all these things, but you're doing these things because you are ungrateful for your life, because you are unhappy with your life. By making the details of your life unfun, your life as a whole will get more fun. I lead a hard life. I train very hard, I work hard, I'm very disciplined. I don't do instant gratification much. But I lead a happy life. And if you reverse this, if you simply say, okay, make the details of your life fun, then your life as a whole will become unfun. Just memorize this and I guarantee you, you will be happy. The life as a whole is the opposite of what the details of your life are. I hope you learned something in this video. I hope that you progressed in your life. And I hope more than everything that I could want from you is to want from you that you do what I told you today. Because I want you to get better. I want to someday walk across the street and see a brother like you.
master your mind.